Hi, I'm Neil Spruce. Last month we talked about weight control and metabolism. Because it's so important and so often misunderstood, I wanted to continue that conversation. We established that the average person needs fewer calories today to maintain a healthy weight than previous generations. And we determined that most people do not have a slow metabolism, they just move less and therefore burn fewer calories. The bottom line was simple. It's not about metabolism, it's about your daily routine. But can we prove that? Is there any way to actually look at the detailed calorie burn for a typical individual? As it turns out, there is. In fact, I recently spoke at a seminar about exactly that. So putting the body bug on two people that were pretty much identical in their job, their weight, so it was apples to apples, we discover what the real problem truly is, and certainly not the slow metabolism. Because we made sure their metabolisms were the same, metabolic rates were the same, same type of job, office job, and they weighed the same on a weight. All right, so let's take the first subject. The first one, 180 pound exercise, but struggles to control their weight and believes they have a slow metabolism. But the difference is, if you look here, the calories burned per minute chart, they only move when they have to move. Getting up in the morning here, you see a little spike, driving to work, walking into the office, then getting up finally from their chair at the office to go to the gym and work out, work out real hard. So they're struggling with weight, come back and sit down pretty much the rest of the day as they get into the car. Drive in the car, go to the next venue, get up, you see a little spike and back down. Now let's look at the second one who never struggles with weight, but again, same weight, 180 pounds, non-exerciser, stays lean and claims they have a fast metabolism. And of course, if you're the other person looking at this person, you think they have a fast metabolism too. Same job, they see them pretty much doing the same everything as far as this goes, but can eat anything they want. This person is moving constantly. Remember, it doesn't go to the gym, no big spike. But when they come into the office, they're basically standing or fidgeting around or they're pacing while they're on the phone. They stand up while they use the computer. They move every chance they get. Even when they sit, they're fidgeting. Anytime your back's off the chair, you're burning more calories. That's the type of person that is. When they go home, they don't just sit. They mill around. They actually do a little garden work, maybe do a little housework. They watch their kids play ball by standing up rather than sitting down. And this person burns about 800 more calories a day than the other exercising person that claims the slow metabolism. So again, it's pretty easy to see that it's really all about daily activities and not about your metabolic rate. Now we'll take a look at this, how, how this ties into it. This final slide here is a slide that deals with the way people report calories. Almost everybody underreports calories. In fact, the more overweight you are, the more you underreport. And overweight people underreport calories by close to 40%. Lean people underreport calories by about 16%. So here's a study showing what people reported versus what they actually ate. The black line is what they reported. The blue line is what they actually ate. Significantly, all of them underreported. But take a look at subject seven. Subject seven reported eating 600 calories a day. They were actually eating over 3,000 a day. Now, if you really believed you were eating 600 calories a day, of course you'd think you had a slow metabolism. Or basically, you're, it's dead, you know? So, Again, if you really, really believe that, you'd think that. But, of course, we know that it's not, that they are just a real slow day, maybe. But at the same time, they were actually consuming 3,000 calories a day. So, again, at the end of the day, uh, we eat more than we believe, and we are much less active than we think. So what's the solution? If you think you have a slow metabolism, stand up and double it. If you're overweight and not dropping pounds, the amount of food you're eating now is enough to support your current weight. So eat less, move more. Or better yet, do both. And remember, although it's ideal to exercise regularly, you don't have to go to the gym to move more. Check out myapex.com to learn about some of the exciting things we have to offer and read this month's newsletter. I'll see you next month. In the meantime, get moving.